Hey, this is Simeon from Praisetracks.com, and we live in exciting times, and especially if you're a musician. I have seen so many, almost like a renaissance of piano libraries, uh, acoustic pianos, electric pianos, grand pianos, concert grand pianos, uprights. Uh, it has just been incredible. And Sample Tech has been on the forefront of creating these beautiful sample libraries. They've been doing it for quite a long time. And with their four knob Pop D piano, they started to bring their knowledge and technique into the Hallian platform, which has been very exciting. And now they're following up their four knob Pop D piano with the four knob upright piano. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. And as I mentioned before, Sample Tech has been creating uh, piano libraries for so many years. And so they bring a lot of their experience to this new instrument. You know, they started with the Four Knob Pop D piano for Hallion, which was their first Hallion instrument. And now we are going into a little different direction with a beautiful upright piano. And you can see by the picture of the microphone positions. And you know me, I've got a soft spot for those ribbons and I see those beautiful Coles uh, ribbon microphones there. And so we're gonna just dive in and take a look at this uh, latest piano library, and it's available on the Hallian platform, and that includes the free Hallian Sonic player. So uh, let's just dive right in. Okay, so here we are, we're looking at the four knob upright, and the four knob is talking about these four main control knobs at the bottom that uh, you have different attitudes and different uh, mic perspectives. So they've taken all these different mics and blended them together, and these sort of kind of act like macro controls. So you have a direct sound, a more attitude sound that's got some processing, modulation, which is taking it through delays and choruses, and then you have the reverb, which is putting it through some very interesting impulse responses captured by a lot of vintage gear. And the, the more that you turn those knobs, it goes through all kinds of different levels. So we're gonna pull up, uh, I've got the Studio A patch pulled up here, and that's what I was playing at the intro. So we're just gonna kind of play a little bit through these and kind of get a feel for the sound of this. Uh, you know, an upright tends to be more intimate and close. So it's just, uh, sometimes you need that, uh, that smaller, tighter, uh, more intimate sound. So here we go with the Studio A. I'll just kind of play through some things. And you can hear how nice and warm and open that is. So with this piano, I'm just gonna go ahead and mute the other mics uh, or the other knobs and just turn this direct signal up a little bit so we can kind of get an idea of what that direct sound sounds like. Now let's just go on to the attitude. And the attitude just kind of puts a little more processing in there. And the farther that you turn it, the more uh, more attitude you're gonna get. So let's uh, let's take, the, take a listen to that. So you hear some delays and some uh, other things going on with that attitude, which is kind of cool. And let's go to the modulation. Let's listen to that. And let me see. Yeah, you turn it all the way down. You're not going to hear it, but you bring it up. And it is throwing it through all of those beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so you can, you can start getting carried away there. And now the reverb channel is uh, really kind of effective. So you can adjust uh, the amount of reverb that's in, that's in the patch. 
And then let's just pop open the extended. Now we're just gonna go through these basic controls and then I'm gonna take us through some more of the presets in the four knob upright because there's 88 of them, uh, which is kind of uh, interesting. So you've got controls for the hammerback volume. So the hammerback volume is the sound of the hammers resetting. And then the pedal volume of course is the mechanical sounds and then you have a velocity sensitivity scale that when you bring it all the way over to the right it's going to just be a hard velocity and then you have it all the way over to the left and it's going to take advantage of the full range of your keyboard yeah and then you have here you have your space you've got controls for the pre-delay the size the delay times and different aspects of the uh, of the reverb there. Okay, so that's Studio A. Let's go ahead and drop this uh, the browser down and just, let's go let's go up to the top. You've got 88 presets which make this a really fun piano. So a bit crushed. And one of the things too, is that they've done a lot of under the hood things with these presets. So they're not necessarily some things that you can change, but they're great places to start and you can kind of dial in using the four knobs. So this is a bit crushed. Let's take a listen. Okay, okay, so you can kind of hear a little bit of bit crushing and little different things going on there. But the quality of the recordings is what really sets this apart um, using all of those beautiful microphones. And then, you know, you can just fine tune these uh, knobs. Yeah, you can just mute. That attitude is just, just right there. Yeah, it's really cool. So that's a bit crushed. And uh, after eight, now we're not gonna run through all 88, but I just thought we would just take a little tour and just kind of play through some of these. So you can hear how delicate and beautiful that is. So you go from the aggressive to the very beautiful and subtle. Very nice. And we even have the reverb channel muted so you can unmute that and just take it, take it a little bit deeper. and it just starts swimming around there. And then of course you've got all of these other things underneath that you can do. I love that. After eight, so ambient attitude. So now this would be, to me, it would sound like another, another spacious sound. So I'm gonna go to D flat for this because D flat's pretty ambient to, for me.
And you can hear how the different uh, attitude and modulation affect that sound. And the delay times and all that, that is tied into your DAW's uh, tempo. And so that really makes it uh, be able to integrate with your arrangement and flow uh, with that. So that's beautiful. I like that. So now let's just keep going. Uh, another bounce. Well, see, you know what? We're just going down the list because it sounds interesting to me. So another bounce. Okay, so that... It sounds like a ping pongy uh, type of delay. Yeah, and you get all that movement going around. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Another bounce. Okay, so let's just drop down um, uh, to autumn leaves. Autumn leaves. And um, like I said, there's a lot of stuff going under the hood, and the four knobs really kind of help shape uh, the sounds of these presets. So what I'm hearing with this one, so the little ambient had a little brighter and harder attack. Now this is softer. It's just got a little softer. And so that's nice sometimes, but it's good that you've got that brightness, but then you can bring it right back down into these very soft and beautiful textures. So baby upright. And I was talking about this the other day. Um, it's like when you think of an upright piano, you've got to think of it as like a grand piano that is just flipped up uh, vertically. Um, so there, there's been a lot of pianos that they actually called vertical grands because it is basically like the, the height. Um, if you took the length and flipped it up, you're going to have the equivalent to what a grand, the, the length of the grand. That's why you get some of those beautiful... Um, richness, especially down to the low end. So this is baby upright. Let's take a listen. Very rich, very rich. Yeah, very rich. And the gear that they use to process these, you know, it's top of the line, some vintage things, uh, Dimension Ds and some weird things, and uh, to get some really cool, uh, beautiful textures. So, okay, let's keep going. Um, big and bold. You know, preset names really kind of speak to me because it's like, you know, if they if they do it right, it kind of gives you an idea of what uh, what you're going to hear when you play. So big and bold. Let's see what happens.
Yeah, so that's big and bold. It sounds almost like it's in an arena type of thing with that, with the reverb. Let's dial it back and just. Uh... Yeah, so we've got some more. Let's see, let's just mute the, um, let's just mute that a little bit. Let's uh, turn up a little bit of attitude and let's see. Yeah, and let's just take a listen to what, um, just that by itself sounds like. Yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on under the hood there. Okay, big city. Yeah, so it's just a lot of really upfront, in your face type of sounds there. So that's really cool because you've got the really pretty subtle things and uh, then you have these aggressive tones as well. So it's got uh, all kinds of things. Okay, broken radio, we've got to listen to that. Um, Yeah, some cool special effects and processing there. Really cool. Okay, man. Carmel by the Sea. I just think it's so cool and creative. See that you can change the character of the piano so much uh, with just one library. Yeah, so you can be aggressive and you can be soft and ambient. It's uh, It's got it all right here. It's very cool. Um, wow, delicate keys. So we're getting through the alphabet pretty good. And I'm amazed that when I do change presets and different things, it uh, does change how you approach the instrument and how you play differently. Uh, because the feedback that you're getting, uh, when you're playing a delicate sound and you're hearing all of that beautiful, delicate uh, sounds, it takes you to a delicate place. It just takes you to a beautiful, delicate place. Okay, so let's keep going. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this uh, as much as I am. I love sharing these beautiful pianos uh, with you guys. So this is Dizzy's, Dizzy's Club, so. So this is just like, uh, like more jazzy. Uh,
this takes you right. It just takes you right in there. So this piano library is just like a set it and almost forget it. And it because it just it just sounds so good right out of the box with the uh, presets they give you. So essential upright. Essential upright. And just listen to that. And you've got all those different dynamic layers that uh, just help it to sing, help it to just jump out there. Okay, great. Let's look at a few more. Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Just different delays. But the warmth of this piano is very beautiful. And I think, again, it's, it's got to do something with the ribbons. Um, it has to do something with the ribbons and the Neumanns, the Neumanns that they use. I'm going to get that right one of these days. Okay, so house party. Now let's just take a listen. Okay, so immediately when, when that loaded, you saw the attitude and modulation go up. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Man. Here we go with something that's just like boom right there. It is just right in your face. So Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Just Dawn. Because I get these word pictures in my mind when I'm looking at presets. Um, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, see, it's like one of those sounds can just, you can just stay on it for, for hours and just play and just go into those beautiful places uh, where it takes you. Well, limited strings. So we've got a lot of compressors and limiters, I think, going on too. Yeah, listen how it just kind of. So it's really limiting it and just to give it uh, get, give it that just really interesting effect there. Okay, cool. Lo-fi party. Yeah, they're using all kinds of custom impulse responses to.
having those sounds just I mean I'm hearing them in my in my ears and it just like is so big and uh, it just it just like it's a big sound it's a big sound and using all those delays and that type of thing okay so let's just uh <laughs> okay mama's piano okay let's see yeah, so this is sounds has a little bit more vintage sound to it, I think. Um. You can hear you can hear like the hammers have are like 200 years old uh, because they it's the softness and the tone is not as um, as sharp uh, but it's got a nice soft uh, tone to it you know when you play a piano for a long time and especially if you're if you if the piano has been subject to someone who plays hard you know those nice teardrop hammers will wind up being as flat uh, flat as a pancake and so when that happens is the tone on the piano just kind of gets a little dull but when you first start out with those nice uh, teardrop uh, shaped hammers you get that really bright percussiveness so it sounds like that they've just kind of shaved those hammers off a little bit to give it that nice uh, nice tone soft tone not aggressive but very nice and vintage um okay um metallic waves now this this probably is going to be something a little more processed so let's take a listen and you hear the nice sharpness up at the top the top end The thing that I'm finding out that I'm liking about the four knob uh, upright is it's versatile. The the sound uh, the sound that you're getting from that it's not just a one color piano. Uh, it has a lot of different colors that we're experiencing here uh, with this. So it can be very bright, very percussive, but then it can be very gentle and soft and ambient. So palette of summer. Let's take a listen. Yeah, there's just all kinds of interesting things going on uh, that they've done. And it's just like, you just don't have to worry about it. You just gotta play, just play and enjoy. <laughs> all right, here we go. So it's got a little brightness on the attack. And then, like I said, you can always just kind of make some adjustments with these, uh, with the four knobs, and then go and save, save it as a preset, save it as your own preset. And I think that's really nice. Okay, Papa's piano, let's see. It reminds me of that song, um, Mama loves Mambo, Daddy loves Bombo, Papa loves. Because <laughs> when I saw Mama, uh, Mama's piano, I said, there's got to be a Papa's piano in there as well. Uh, so that's a really fun song. But see, it's just like those little cool uh, names and uh, the textures just kind of take you to a lot of fun in different places. Very nice. Well, you guys are great. Thank you for hanging in there with me. And, um, you know, we're almost down to the end. Okay, so uh, psychedelic bounce. I'm going to try to find some really crazy things we can listen to. Um, so this is the psychedelic bounce.
I was wondering where the psychedelic was, and then when you hold it out, you hear it in the release. And that's a cool effect. Um, just got a lot of cool flanging and a lot of cool, like I said, impulse responses from all of these really cool, uh, interesting effects and outboard. So that's interesting. Romance in Paris. Ooh. Okay. Let's take a listen to that. Yeah, we've got the ambience kind of turned up. Uh, they're doing some things with pre-delay and they're modifying that sensitivity a little bit as well, I can see. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> And there you go again with another, um, yeah, you go from psychedelic bounce to this. Uh, yeah, isn't that cool? That is beautiful. <laughs> Shining shimmer. Let's take a listen to that. And here again. You go from the nice and, and the, the smooth, and you can get the real bright and percussive. And so, you know, those sounds, you know, just like a mystery. I actually see like, a, I see like little movies in my mind when I'm playing these. So the courier just received like uh, the, the drop <laughs> and it's kind of snowy and uh, dark. And they're just kind of running with that package, just trying to uh, find where, the, where, the, where their next, uh, next stop's gonna be. Because with that shimmering, you can just see snowflakes and lights reflecting off of the, uh, off the crystals. It's like real crystalline, uh, kind of monochromatic uh, types of things. That's... Uh, that's a little peek in, into, into the theater up here in the mind. Uh, it's just incredible. It's incredible how sounds uh, create that theater. They activate the theater of the mind, which is great. And it takes creative libraries like the Four Knob Upright and what Sample Tech has done uh, to just bring those ideas to life. Um, it's amazing. So they take that creativity, create these beautiful sounds, and the result of that uh, opens up our imagination and allows us to go into these amazing adventures with these libraries and with these sounds. Wow, incredible, incredible. Squeezed into the past. So almost like you hear that stereo feel just kind of compress in a little bit. Very nice. And you know, the way that they mic the piano again allowed them to do all kinds of different things with the mic positions and uh, all of that, all of that stuff. So West Side is the last preset uh, on the list.
I just can't get over how nice and full sounding this is. And the sound stage just is really nice and, uh, and full and rich. You know, just playing that, just kind of, um, you know, and especially here again, we're, we're talking about um, West Side. So West Side Story, it kind of reminds me of, um, of this song. Um, and it's amazing how sounds and um, it just takes you to different places. There's a place for Somewhere a place for us Peace and quiet and open air Wait for us somewhere There's a time for us Someday there'll be time for us Time together with time to spare Time to learn and a time to care There'll be a place for us somewhere <laughs> You know, you never know where we're going to go on these journeys that we take together So I want to thank Sample Tech for allowing me to take us on this wonderful journey with their brand new four knob upright and um, all the links and everything are going to be down in the description below. And uh, thanks again for joining me and uh, just uh, look forward to seeing you next time as we take another adventure together. We'll see you soon.